All right, problem number three. What do we have here? Um, we have a clinic that has two doctors who work there, and um, we're given that an average of um, six patients per uh, one sec. I'm, 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 I was trying to find my pen. Okay, so six patients arrive at the clinic every hour following the Poisson distribution. Each doctor spends on average 15 minutes with the patient, so this is our service time. The patients wait in a waiting area, of course, until one of the doctors, of course, uh, see him. Now, the doctors do not believe that it's a good practice to have patients wait longer than an average of 15 minutes. So what's that? This is like a policy, okay? And the question here, should this clinic add, in fact, we have two, two parts of the question. We have the first part, should this clinic add a third doctor? And then how would this alleviate the waiting problem? So we, we will start by answering the first part. Should this clinic add a third doctor? What do you think? How do we, how do we answer this question? The, the, the reason why I like this problem is that it does not ask a, uh, a direct question, okay, which is really not challenging for you. What is really challenging in problem solving is that when you figure out what you have to do to answer the question, okay? So what do you think here? Why would we uh, add a third doctor? Of course, we are given a policy. So we think about it like this. If, if, we, um, if the customer will wait, is waiting now currently with two doctors more than 50 minutes, then we will add it. This is it. Okay, so this is how we think about it. So first, M is equal to two. I'm, I'm finding the parameters that I have here. So, right, because it was given to us that we have two doctors. So that was an easy one for us. Lambda, six patients, it's also given uh, directly. We are given the service time as 15 minutes. So from that, we get a mu, which is four patients per hour. And lambda over mu, our famous ratio, 1.5. We're going to use that a lot. Okay, so to answer the question then, we have a policy that a patient should not wait more than 15 minutes. So to answer the question, we need to know if the current waiting time, okay, what is it and compare it to that threshold of 15 minutes. And if LQ that we found is less than 15 minutes, then we do not add a doctor, right? They are doing well. They are uh, uh, respecting their policy. Otherwise, we have to add a doctor. So we have to start by finding our LQ. How to find LQ? This is a multiple server. So what do we have to do? It's easy because we, we have a, our, uh, our table. Okay, so in the table, we have lambda over mu 1.5, and you look for the row in that uh, uh, group of lambda over mu 1.5, m equal to, and you simply read LQ to be 1.929. Okay, so we're almost done. Now we find WQ, LQ over lambda, basic relationship, and we find it to be equal to that. Remember, the time unit comes from the time unit of lambda, which is six per hours. And to be able to compare it to our uh, policy, we multiply it by 60, and we get 19.3 minutes, greater than 15 minutes, so we have to add one doctor. In the next slide, we're going to ask, answer the second part. How would this alleviate the waiting problem? All right, um, so now we're uh, answering the second part. How would adding a third doctor that we decided on the previous slide to um, how it would alleviate the, the problem, meaning the waiting, uh, the waiting problem? Previously, we know that they are a patient weight on average 19.2. So let's see now with the third doctor um, how long he waits. So what do we have here? All the parameters remain the same except what? Except M, right? Lambda does not change. Mu does not change. Okay, it's only M that changes, which is now 3, right? And this will change what? 
this will change the location in the table where we're looking for LQ. So now in the table for the same lambda or mu, of course, but now we look for the row corresponding to M equal three, and we simply read LQ to be 0 0.237 patients, much, much less than the previous one, right? Of course, which is uh, logical. So now we find WQ, and WQ we find it to be 2.4 minutes. Okay, very, very short time. Of course, it's less than 15 minutes. So we have solved the problem. We could have also found that even with adding one third doctor, we did not meet yet our policy. So in that case, we should have added a fourth doctor. But in this case, a third one is enough, more than enough. So how did we alleviate the problem? We simply find the difference uh, in the waiting line, how much we have reduced the waiting line. And we have reduced that by almost 17 minutes. Okay. It's a, of course, a very good achievement. Okay. So a service counter employs two servers. All right. On average server requires eight minutes to process a customer. So this is what, this is service time, which follows an exponential distribution. Customers arrive at a rate of 12 per hour. So that's given to us directly. It's very easy for us. We need to determine different performance measures. But before doing that, let's again identify the major parameters. What's M? M is 2, which is very clear for us. Lambda is also directly given to us as 12. We are given the service time as 8 minutes, which where we can get now derive the uh, mu service rate multiplied by 60 to make it the same time unit as lambda all right and now lambda over mu is 1.6 a ratio that we use very often on average what's the total number of customers in the system so this is ls right ls we know that it's equal to lq plus lambda over mu all right and um so for that we need to find L cube from the table. So we look for lambda of mu 1.6 and we look for m equal 2 there. We find L cube to be 2.844. Now we add that to lambda over mu, which is number, remember this one, it's number of people being served at any point of time. When we add it to the number of people waiting in line, that means we found the number of people waiting in the system and we get it to be 4.44. That was very straightforward question. Now we need to find two more performance measures in this slide. We need to find the average number of customers waiting to be served. So what do you think of this? This is LQ. This is a measure that we just found because we, were, we wanted to find LS. So that's it. We found that already. Part C. The average amount of time in minutes spent in the system, what's that? This is WS, right? So we know that WS is the time we wait in line plus the service time. So we find now WQ, which is LQ over lambda. That's it. Multiply by 60 to make it in minutes because service time is given to us in minutes. And now we can find WS easily. All right. That was very, very simple. The last two performance measures are probabilities, which are my favorite because they really show understanding for the concept. So part D, what's the probability that an arriving customer must wait for service? So remember the logic behind that. This is a system where we have two servers. Okay, so ask yourself in which case when you arrive, you will be waiting. If there was only one, you would not wait. You will go directly there, right? You'll go here. But if there are two, you will have to wait behind them. So you wait here. But what if there was already one in front of you? So there were three or there were four, etc. So you have to wait in case I have two and above. This is when I wait. 
as we did before we don't want to calculate all that but we calculate their complements which are only p0 and p1 and then we subtract from one now p0 this is a multiple server so we can find p0 from the table and we read it to be 0 0.111 and p1 this is one which is less than m okay less than number of servers so we use the simple form simple formula for the probability which is this one and we plug now uh, for n we plug one and here we go 0 0.1776 and now we add that to p0 and we subtract from one and we get pw to be equal to 0 0.7114 so 71.14 percent good now last part the probability that two customers are waiting in line so let's go back here. Let me just erase this guy. So here we go. I'm showing you now the condition that is in the question, the probability that two customers, okay, are waiting in line, which they are referring to that snapshot where I have here two in line, right? I have two in line. In why they are waiting in line? Because there are two this guy and this guy being served which means that there are two in line if there are four in the system right four in the system so that would be our answer so probability that two in line is equal to probability that four in the system why we're doing this because the probability formulas that we have answer the questions about probability of n in the system and this is p4 now 4 is greater than 2 which is m number of servers so that means we use the other formula which is this one simply plugging the values in place we know we have now m is 2 we know that and this is our n 4 the question that we have or we're asking and this is m again and we get 0 0.0909 all right